Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our week ahead readings. This will be for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, I'll do the timestamps and I'll put, uh, I'll put them in the description box below. As always guys, keep in mind these are general, so whenever you are guided to watch the video, first of all, because they're timeless, that's when you should watch it because it holds a message for you, but general readings are not going to make sense to everyone the same way. So be sure to watch all your signs and just take what resonates. And if you're interested in a private reading, the information is in the description box below. I'm using the Joie de Vivre Tarot deck and the Daily Crystal Inspiration Oracle this week. Please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much if you have. I really appreciate the love and the support. And I am recovering from something, so my voice isn't great, so bear with me if I lose my voice at any point or if I start coughing, hopefully not. Alright, so all that being said, let's begin with Gemini. Hey Gemini, thanks for joining us. If you're skipping ahead, please be sure to watch the intro as well. Ah! All right, Gemini, magician, and a bunch of cards flew out, so let me try to go get them. Okay. All right, I think I got them all. Yeah, I got them all. Okay, so Gemini, some unexpected things, unexpected things, unexpected options, unexpected decisions going on for Gemini in the week ahead. Current situation is the Queen of Wands. The challenge is the Magician. There it is. I feel like this is a troublemaker because he's the one that flipped my deck <laughs> just a second ago. And in the outcome, the Ten of Swords. What in the world? Bottom of the deck, the Three of Swords. Gemini, what? 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 In the situation, we have the Queen of Wands, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The challenge is the Magician. Obviously, this is not going to be for everyone, guys, so don't panic. If it makes no sense to you, it's not your reading. The Magician is a troublemaker. The Magician here is a troublemaker. Or this could be you. You're breaking someone's heart, Gemini, just to let you know. Because the Three of Swords is sorrow, disappointment, breakup, separation not getting what you want. I feel like for some of you, this is you. I feel like this is someone, whether it's you or someone else, this is someone who, it feels like someone's selling you something that's not true. Be very careful, Gemini. You might be dealing with a con artist. You might be dealing with someone who's selling you a dream. But it's not true, and it could cost you money, it could cost you a job, it could cost you your health. This is someone selling you a dream. It's a it's a con artist, it's a it's a someone who uses they're very charming, they're very charismatic. And your challenge is to really look at things. Don't don't commit to anything. Don't sign anything. Don't give anyone any money. Let's get more information here for Gemini. Queen of Wands. The Two of Swords with the Magician. Yeah, you're not seeing this. The Five of Coins. Listen. Ten of Swords in the Outcome. The Hermit. And the Three of Swords. We have the Four of Swords. Might be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Might be dealing with Virgo energy, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. You don't, someone's selling you something, someone's selling you something that's not true with the Two of Swords. Do not go for get rich quick schemes. Do not give anyone any money. Do not fall for any sort of investment opportunity. Don't gamble not going to be a good a good show not going to be a good outcome ten of swords in the hermit for some of you i mean could be god forbid this is a heads up it hasn't happened yet 
Okay, you can change it if it makes sense to you, if this is you recognize these energies. But I feel like for some of you this could be the losing money, losing a job. or losing out on something, right? If you're not losing your job, you're losing out on a promotion or you're losing out on a, a something. Um, if this is something that you have been doing, Gemini, I mean, I have to be honest with you, this is where you get caught this week. I also see like someone getting caught in a third party situation and it leads to the end of a relationship. I have to be honest, if I see it, I'm, I have to say it, right? I also see, if you're taking too long to decide on something, it's going to go away, Gemini. So I have to be um, honest about that as well. So if you're taking too long to decide, Either to decide to open up to someone, to decide to give someone a commitment, to decide to choose between someone or another, I don't know. This could even be where you have to hire someone and you're taking too long to decide, okay? And by the time you decide, the perfect candidate is no longer available. So it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom like that, so just take it as it resonates. But I feel like if you're taking too long to decide to either open up to someone, to make a commitment to someone, to choose someone over someone else or something over something else, the the best option that you have that you're taking too long to decide about is going to go away. Okay, so Gemini, trust yourself and make quick decisions. Trust your intuition if it's that kind of a dynamic where you have to choose if you're going to open up to someone. If it's anyone trying to sell you on something or sell you something, do not do that. It's not what it looks like. It's not what they're trying to make it out to be. And it's going to cost you money or it's going to cost you things. Okay? So I have to be honest with you. But again, if it's something where you have to choose to you have to pick between between something and something else or you have to I feel like this energy of someone's waiting for you to open up to them or someone's waiting for you to take a chance on them or someone's waiting for you to um, kind of meet them halfway they have been patient but I feel like that is kind of wearing thin and if you take too long to decide to open up to this person I feel like they're gonna go away if it's that kind of a dynamic right and you know you know what it is where you've been talking to someone, they've been very patient with you, and it's been, it's fun, it's flirty, but there's emotions there, they have made it clear how they feel about you, and now they're waiting for you to kind of reciprocate, or they're waiting for you to commit to them, or they're waiting for you to open up and be vulnerable. If you don't do that, I feel like this is, this week is a breaking point. If you don't do that, they're going to go away. So that's up to you to decide what you want to do. Okay. Okay. I mean, a bit of a mess over here, Gemini. I'm not going to lie. So let's see. Oracle energy and advice for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Oracle energy and advice for Gemini for the week ahead. Citrine, bright, sorry, bring in the light. Yeah, I mean, something's being revealed. Either something is being revealed or you have to be the one to open up. Smoky Quartz, let it go. Yeah, two. I knew you had two. And Sodalite, speak your truth. I mean, yeah. If it's a situation where there has... It's a pause, okay? It's a stalemate and it's a pause. So you're not talking to someone, whether they're romantic or family member or friend or whatever. You're taking a stand, you're not talking to them. It's a stalemate. This is telling you that if you don't want to lose that connection, you're going to have to open up. You're going to have to talk to this person and either tell them how you feel, give them a piece of your mind, or talk to them either way. Because um, otherwise, they're just going to walk away. They're going to leave you to it and walk away. <sighs> I 
I hear, is this the hill you want to die on? So pick your battles, pick your battles. Because I feel like if you're having an argument with someone, you're not seeing eye to eye, um, and you're reaching a stalemate, okay, this is telling you, is this the hill you want to die on? Because if you take it to the extreme and you just refuse to compromise, you refuse to meet in the middle, you refuse to to have anything other than perfectly your own way, I feel like it could cost you a friendship, it could cost you a relationship, it could cost you this connection. Okay, Gemini, so you've got, you got a heads up there. Like, let it go, try to meet in the middle, speak your truth, but bring in the light in the situation, okay? Lighten it up. Don't take it to that kind of extreme. And if you have put someone outside, so to speak, if you don't open up the door to them to kind of take them back in and talk to them and overcome the issues and the obstacles, they're, they're going to go away because they're going to respect your decision not to talk to them or to cut them out, and they're going to go away. Selenite, clear the clutter. Yeah. If you're giving someone the cold shoulder, silent treatment, this is telling you again, how far do you want to take it? Because it, it will cost you this, this connection. It will. That's what this is. If someone is... I feel like you're just you're very angry about something and you're taking a stand. But again, how far do you want to take it? Because I feel like you're dealing with someone who doesn't, doesn't, is not fighting back. They don't want to fight back. They are waiting for you to be ready to talk to them. They're waiting for you to calm down. They're waiting for you to um, want to open up to work on this. And the longer you take to do that, the, the more they kind of slip away. So, I mean, you're going to have to tell me what this is, Gemini. But if you resonate with the reading here, or the re reading resonates with you, um, I hope it helps you because it, you, it's giving you a bit of a heads up, like how far do you want to take this? And again, if anyone's trying to sell you anything, do not go for it. Okay? And if you know someone's waiting for you to open up to them, or waiting for you to make a a, a commitment or waiting for you to choose them however that makes sense um just know that i feel like they're just giving you this week they're saying okay i'm gonna give it one more week if nothing happens i'll let the gemini go so be aware of that and if you're taking too long to decide again same message pretty much um it might cost you a connection emotional professional whatever the case may be all right so gemini you have been warned. Do without what you will. Justice, five of wands. Yeah. I mean, choose your battles. And choose how far you want to take something. Because you might lose it altogether. And is, I mean, is that really what you want? Okay. Moving on to Libra. Hey, Libra. Thank you for joining us. If you're skipping ahead, be sure to also watch the intro. Let me get these a good shuffle. So, what's going on for Libra, Sun and Rising Venus signs in the week ahead? Libra, Sun and Rising Venus signs in the week ahead. So the situation that does not want to come out is the star. <laughs> the challenge is the moon. The outcome is the three of cups. Celebration, celebration, celebration. Bottom of the deck, the fool. New beginnings, taking a chance on something, falling in love for some of you. Could be a new home, new career, a new phase in your love life. It's a wish come true energy that you're stepping into, okay? It's Aquarius energy. This is getting the yes, the approval, the green light. The challenge with the moon, I feel like there's a lot of unknowns here. But with the star and the fool, I feel like you're going on in, on your intuition and you're saying, you know what, this feels right, this feels amazing. I'll learn as I go. I'll figure it out as I go. But I know I want to step on this path. Because you have the star there as well. And in the outcome, you have the three of cups. So celebration. 
new people, new places, new dynamics, new connections. For some, this is reconciliation. And the challenge is you don't know if this time it's going to be different. But you know you want to do this. For others of you, yeah, you're, this is relocation or you're taking a job and it's in a different city or um, you're meeting someone at a distance and there's a lot of love there, there's a lot of emotion. But there could be, it could be long distance thing. For those of you, this is going from being friends with someone to being more and it's like there's a lot of unknowns but, you know, I know this is what I want to do so we're just going to figure it out as we go. It's very, very nice energy, Libra, because ultimately this is something that you truly, truly want with the star card. For, I mean, for some of you, this is just falling in love. That's what this is. This is starry-eyed. This is pink glasses, rose-colored glasses on your face. This is just... You could be meeting the one this week, the one you're going to end up with, the one you marry, the one you're going to settle down with, whatever that is. I mean, Libra, what are you having and can I have some? <laughs> Let's get more clarity here for Libra. So with the star card, the three of wands, with the moon, the seven of coins, yeah, and the three of cups, the wheel. I mean, under the fool, we have the five of coins. A new beginning in your life, taking a chance. I feel like it's the end of being, feeling alone and lonely, or it's the end of searching um, and being disappointed the high priestess the end of you being on your own if you have been going through with the five of cups a time of or a phase of um just things just did not come together for you i mean you, you struggled to find the right fit um there was a lot of false start energy there was a lot of disappointment loss getting your hopes up about something and it just goes away or it falls apart this is the end of that. Something that you have been expecting, hoping to see, expecting, waiting on, that's what's coming in, okay? Or again, this is someone at a distance. Foreign land, foreign culture, for some of you. The challenge, there's a lot of unknowns with the, the moon energy here. The seven of pentacles is like, I don't know what this could be but I want to see what it could be. You know, this is something that will take time to reveal whether or not it was a good investment. And that could be a challenge, you know? Giving you your best shot, but you're not gonna know right away if it's a good thing. You're gonna have to be patient, do your best and be patient to see the results and to receive confirmation whether or not it was the right decision. And that's your challenge, but I feel like you're okay with that. It's not unreasonable. Three of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. A change in dynamic within a connection, so a friend could be more than a friend, or um, again, this is going out, socializing, and you, it's like starry-eyed Cupid's arrow hits you, right? Or, it's, yeah, it's cycles, it's a cycle ending, and a new cycle beginning that's beautiful, and it's blessed, it's meant to be for you. I mean, Libra, whatever this is, things are turning around. I feel like you have been struggling for a while to find the right job, to find the right person, to find the right fit, to find a good source of income and make it work and make it, you know, build it up. And there's a turning point here. And if this hasn't happened yet, this is telling you to set your sights higher, expand the search area however that makes sense to you. It's also telling you to take a chance. So if it's the type of job that you know, you're know you looking at, you'd love to do it, but you're thinking there's no way they would call me in for an interview. This is telling you, you know what, take a chance. Now's the time with the star and, and the, the fool and the wheel of fortune. Now is the time to take a chance and to go for, go for broke, right? Go big or go home type energy this week, Libra because I feel like that's what's going to turn things around for you. Meeting the one, finding the best 
possible job but it's going to be something that you know you can do for the rest of your life and retire from comfortably find the place the right place to live Oracle Energy and advice for Libra for the week ahead. Okay. So, bottom of the deck. Pink Opal, be kind to yourself. Yeah. I feel like you have been in this place of lack mentality and telling yourself you don't deserve or because of everything that's happened, it's kind of knocked your confidence and you're feeling left out, you're feeling like, you know, everyone's doing well except you, everyone, you know, is experiencing happiness and joy and excitement ex except you. And this is telling you, be kind to yourself, love yourself, tell yourself that, no, actually, yes, you're beautiful, yes, you're deserving, yes, you deserve to be loved, yes, you deserve abundance in your life. Be kind to yourself and just go for it. Take a shot. You've got nothing to lose, right? And that's what that says. Eye light, shift your money mindset. What, what was I saying? Like that could be literal. So if you've been having money problems, it's because of, because of the five of coins mindset. You know, feeling like expecting the worst, and it's like dealing with a lot of self fulfilling prophecies. But you're afraid. If you're afraid of loss, you're projecting it out and you're manifesting it and you're seeing it. Then you're experiencing it, and I feel like that's what's shifting now. Be kind to yourself. Tell yourself you're you're beautiful. You're deserving. You're abundant. Set your sets set your sights high. Alright, go from, from from the five of coins to the three of wands. Or it's all about being hopeful and expecting to see good things. And that's what exactly what's you gonna what's gonna happen. But this is also about self worth. Your mindset when it comes to self worth and what you deserve. Tourmalinated that's a that's a long word. Quartz. Get out of your own way. I mean, come on now. You have been manifesting, creating this place of lack in your life because as within, so without, right? That's what you were experiencing. That's how you were feeling. That's what you were thinking about yourself. And that's what you were projecting out. And I feel like something is shifting something's coming in out of the blue right and it's like or this is like you've been manifesting you've been doing affirmations you've been trying to shift the energy you've been looking after yourself with the star card you've been investing in yourself nurturing yourself and that is has shifted the energy within and now you're starting to see it reflected outside of you as well and you're starting to see different types of opportunities coming in. That's what I'm looking at here, Libra. And if you have not done that, this is where it's telling you, start doing that. Okay, the way to shift what's going on is to start looking after yourself, treating yourself the way you deserve to be treated, loving yourself the way you deserve to be loved, showing yourself the respect you want to see from others. And that's how you shift the energy because once you do that for yourself, you'll start to project it out and you'll start to see it in your external environment as well. And that's gonna be the turning point in your life here okay so i hope that makes sense to you and i hope that it helps but i mean your reading is amazing okay all right so let's move on to aquarius hey aquarius thank you for joining us and if you're skipping ahead be sure to watch the intro as well because there's information for you there okay. so what's going on for Aquarius Sun and Rising Venus signs in the week ahead Aquarius in the week ahead in the situation we have the Knight of Cups in the challenge we have the Hermit in the outcome we have the Page of Wands interesting bottom of the deck we have the devil mm -hmm. <sighs> Aquarius I mean be careful who you trust this week in general but especially this week because the nine of cups is your situation something's coming in 
be a love offer or someone offering you something that you know it looks amazing and it almost feels like it's too good to be true and if if I didn't see the devil I tell you oh my god this is amazing go for it but I have the devil there telling me it's not all it's cracked up to be your challenge with the hermit is to look deeper your challenge is to ask questions your challenge is to get the facts someone's trying to come in and kind of woo you or um, get you all impressed and excited and kind of lost in that emotion so that you'll do whatever they, they are guiding you to do. And your challenge is to ask for more information. Your challenge is to get the facts. Your challenge is to ask for it on paper. Put it down on paper and I'll think about it. Right? Make it official and I'll think about it. Let me let let me get my lawyer to look at it and then I'll, t I'll tell you what I want to do. In the outcome, we have the page of cup, page of cups, <laughs> page of wands. An offer, communication, excitement. It's interesting I said cups. You're, you're dealing with something, whether it is in a romantic sense or it's to do with work or it's to do with your business or your financial situation. Something's coming in. And it looks like, I'll get more to clarify, but it, it feels like someone who, you know, they want to be an angel investor, they want to be, um, they want to offer you money or they want to offer you support or they're offering you uh, love and everything you could possibly need. And it looks like it, it's coming in so strong that you just kind of get swept away and you immediately get excited about it and you immediately start telling everyone about it but I feel like there's whatever they're offering it comes with strings attached and you're not aware of those strings right now and that's why your challenge is a hermit to take a pause to say let me look at it give me some time and I'll give you my answer because if you do that either there's things that need to be defined and tweaked so you can cover yourself or you figure out that it's actually a complete hoax let's get more information here for Aquarius either way ask for more information if it's something that feels like it's too good to be true it probably is this week with this combination ask for more time ask for more information get someone to look it over ask for it on paper okay let's get more clarity here for Aquarius what's the Knight of Cups the Hierophant I mean yeah someone offering you commitment someone asking you to marry them someone offering you the job of your dreams someone offering to partner up with you and take your business to the next level the Hermit as the challenge the nine of wands yeah look this is where you're drawing a line in the sand and you're saying stop let's do this on my terms I need more information because this is someone that's just kind of it's like a wave that's coming in they're, they're looking to sweep you up right before you figure out what's going on you're all up in the air in that water and that on that wave so that you don't ask questions so that you don't you know ground that energy what does that mean it means bring it into 3d it means put it on paper get the facts Get a lawyer to look it over. Talk to people about it, right? Page of Wands in the outcome with the King of Coins. And the Six of Cups. Under the Devil, we have the Ten of Cups. This is someone offering you what they say is true love, commitment, happily ever after. But there's something not quite right there. They're not telling you the full story. I feel like for some of you you're meeting someone this week, you're falling in love with that person's already married. I have to be honest with you. Um, or committed. For others of you, this is someone from the past coming back around. They have not changed. They're trying to play on your emotions. They're trying to say everything they want you to hear. They're offering marriage to you. They're talking about having children. They're talking about growing old together. But they have not changed. So be very, very careful. If it's someone coming back around or you're talking to someone, you have children together and you're trying to figure out if you can make it work 
like for the sake of the children or and, and to be a family and be a happy healthy family together that is possible however i feel like you need to tone it down or tell them to tone it down and be like look let's take it one day at a time and one step at a time I don't want us to get back where we left off. I don't want us to get married right away. I want us to do it properly, and that's your challenge. It can work, but I feel like it needs to be slowed all the way down. Start from scratch, start fresh, get to know each other, take it one day at a time, one step at a time to build that foundation. And it can work if everyone is doing what they're supposed to be doing. And again, the focus is to slow it down because it looks like like they're bringing my attention to the nine of wands there. Someone opening up their heart, but they're still paying attention, right? I'm opening my heart, but I have my wits about me. I'm slowly opening up to this, but I'm observing everything you say and do. And I have my guard up until I feel like I can trust you. And if it's a case of, if you're not sure, you know, if this person means what they say, slow it down. Tell them, look, that all that is beautiful. I love the flowers. I love the gifts. And all that's wonderful. However, let's slow it down. Take it one day at a time and we'll see how we go. Right? Or you talk to them about your terms or what you're comfortable with. Slow down. Take it one day at a time and we'll figure it out don't talk to me about marriage let's just talk about what we're going to do tomorrow and we'll see where we go right that's going to tell you that's going to show you this person's true colors because if they respect that and they understand that and they agree with you and they're like okay yeah let's take the take it slow one day at a time i agree we need to have a strong foundation and then they show you what they say in their actions as well then you can trust that but if you're starting to talk about those things and they're like they're still trying to rush you they're still trying to sweep you away or whatever then that's their true colors they have no intention of, of grounding this of putting roots down does that make sense of making it real if someone's offering you a job or a promotion again they're really selling it like they're selling the ish out of this thing ask questions ask questions ask to see things in writing and really read that contract or even ask someone to look it over because yes, it can be a really good opportunity with a lot of money, but some things they're not telling you about, okay? There's some strings attached that they're not telling you about. So it's important to discuss everything before you sign on that dotted line. And it can be a really, really great opportunity. Yes, it can. But I feel like things need to be brought into the light and discussed so that everyone's on the same page. Everyone knows what they're signing up for, okay? So I'll leave that with you. So let's see, Oracle Energy and Advice. Oracle energy and advice for Aquarius. And then look ahead. So at the bottom of the deck we have fluorite. Find peace within. I do feel like someone's coming back around to make peace, to do better, to make amends. Again, slow it down and clarify their intentions and see if their actions match their words. Unikite, live in the now. And turquoise, prioritize your health. Someone's coming back around to fix something. Someone's coming back around to heal something. And it can be healed, don't get me wrong. But it needs to be, everything needs to be discussed. Um, and it needs to be taken one day at a time to really build that strong foundation. And it can work, okay? But it's about prioritizing healthy choices and living in the now, okay? Not thinking about what happened in the past, but also not living in the future, it's important to live in the now, right? Because I feel like someone's coming in offering marriage and you've just met them and you're like, okay, dude, slow down or do that. Let's calm down. Let's take it one day at a time. Yes, it's amazing. Yes, it's beautiful. Let's just take it one day at a time and see how we go. This is not the time for that conversation. We're not there yet, right? Or if it's someone coming back around, again, it's, it's about not holding the past against them or you. Um, but it's, again, not talking about it's not picking up where you left off and it's not talking about what things could be it's about okay where are we now and let's just start from here and see where we go and focus on making healthy choices every step of the way and it can it can work it can be beautiful okay 
anything anything that feels like it's too good to be true whether it's love or work or business or whatever anything that feels like it's too good to be true test it get it out get it out get it down on paper discuss it ask the questions you want to ask so that when you say yes you know exactly what you're saying yes to or when you're saying no you know exactly why you're saying no okay but it's a beautiful reading it's beautiful something can be healed something can be an amazing opportunity it just needs to be clear and discussed and agreed upon okay so i'll leave that with you have a great week and i'll see you in the next one bye for now